Cucumbers are grown as an annual, which means that the plant does not regenerate after the growing season. Once it has outlived its lifespan of roughly 70 days, the plant dies and cannot be regrown. Intolerant of even the lightest frost, plants wither and die immediately if the temperature drops to below freezing. However, long shelf life, greater size and better taste are characteristics of cucumbers grown in Kenya. So it is imperative to invest in disease and insect-free stock grown in greenhouse facilities where nutrient provision is carefully monitored. Our farmer today tells us that the first step on the road to profitable cucumber farming is to find a supplier of good quality seedlings. Before the end of this show, you will get enough information about cucumber cultivating business that will make you start immediately. to Laikipia County. This is Kilimo Nabiashara Show. Welcome to the show. Today, we want to focus on cucumber farming. We are meeting our farmer Omri, who's somewhere here. Let's go find him. Ah, Omri, you're here. Hello. Good morning, Linda. How <laughs> Good are you? Good morning. How are you? Very well, this thank you. This is beautiful. Yes, this is one of the crops we grow also. Oh my God, they're so beautiful. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And um, I'm very happy to have you here today. Thank you. Thank and looking you so forward much. for a very interesting session. Ah, it will be interesting. We will pass from this ground house mm -hmm. and we'll move to the greenhouse with the cucumbers. Oh, so this is just the tomato just section? Just is that tomato section. So we go to the cucumber? Exactly. Okay, let's go. Okay, thank you. All right. This greenhouse is pretty interesting because mm -hmm. we have here yeah. five different types of cucumbers. Wow, five? Yeah, so I'd, I'd be very happy type. to, yeah. <laughs> okay. So we'll show you. So okay. when we go into the greenhouse, we actually have to disinfect our legs. Oh, okay. We also have a double uh, insect proof net. That's oh. to avoid pests coming in. Mm -hmm. Oh, so it has to be double. Yeah. Wow, this is so green. So and it can grow this high. Yes, actually uh, all the cucumbers are trellised mm -hmm. and they, we even have a continuous uh, trellising system which we call the umbrella. Mm -hmm. So once they reach, we mm -hmm. we have two vines which each one goes to a different side so we can get wow. more yield. This is a Titan variety which mm. took us some time to choose. Titan? Titan F1. It's, it's which type? It's an English cucumber mm -hmm. or sometimes it's called Dutch cucumber. Oh. Depending who takes uh, it royalties, came from the, the <laughs> Dutch country. it's basically what is preferred in in Europe. Mm -hmm. um, we decided to grow this variety yeah. specifically because the fruits are very shiny. Yes, they reach the length that the clients want mm -hmm. and very productive. Yeah. So we did try other varieties mm -hmm. and we came that this is going to be the major leader. We are still testing other varieties. We are mm -hmm. still looking. Yeah. at maybe something better. Mm -hmm. We also like the vigorosity of the plant, mm -hmm. so it's it's very rustic. Mm -hmm. um, unfortunately, in this farm, we don't have very good water. Mm -hmm. We have hard water. Mm -hmm. And actually, you can see on the leaves, mm -hmm. yellowing. Yeah. It's uh, due to salinity. Oh, the water is, yeah. Yeah, is saline. And again, mm -hmm. and again, you need to check a variety that will withstand these conditions mm -hmm. and give you what you're looking for. Omri, this is interesting. How did you venture into this type of farming? I was approached by the owner of this uh, project and asked me to consult for him. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm in um, agriculture for the last 30 years and it's a big passion of mine. And um, here I saw an opportunity both to be innovative a little bit in the, in the scene of the Kenyan market and also to deal with some of the problems that a lot of farmers face and to do the trials here to, to see what we can add value to farmers. And uh, this is an ongoing process. So we, we've been doing that for the last year now. 
and we're very happy that in many cases we have a nice success. So in this particular greenhouse, how many seedlings does it host? Just for an example, uh, last week we planted uh, two and a half acres, one greenhouse. So it's pretty big in terms of the turnover. We want to be uh, in a couple of months to be one of the biggest suppliers of vegetables in uh, Kenya. Wow! It's a process. We are, we are learning. This is a new farm. It's an ongoing mm -hmm. project. Mm -hmm. We still yet to do a proper grading hall mm -hmm. and um, mm -hmm. Yes, but we are very excited. Yeah. Um, so in this greenhouse, for example, and I come back to the word innovative, we have five types of cucumbers. Which ones are those? So here's a typical uh, English cucumber. Mm -hmm. Usually the clients are looking for anywhere between 25 to 35 centimeters long. Mm -hmm. Basically, the longer the better. Oh. Uh, shiny. Mm -hmm. Slightly ribbed mm -hmm. and firm, very firm. Oh. oh, it's very firm. Usually these cucumbers are also wrapped in foil mm -hmm. as not to lose uh, humidity. Mm -hmm. So usually they, we market them with a foil mm -hmm. and they get the most premium price in the market. You said it's English? The type is English cucumber. Oh. What's the best thing about cucumbers? The best thing is that you buy one cucumber and it can last you a week in the fridge. Oh, I mean, there's a, It's not perishable. Not, not really perishable and uh, you know it's used for so many types of uh, uh, salads, slicing into sandwiches. Um, it's not a cooked vegetable. Nobody ever cooks cucumbers by the way. Mm -hmm. um, you see the, 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 the good thing about a cucumber, it's light. Mm -hmm. A lot of vitamin C. Mm -hmm. By the way, in many countries, they don't even peel the cucumber mm -hmm. because inside the peel there are quite a few vitamins. Mm -hmm. So, some countries peel cucumbers, some countries don't. A lot of women use this for for, for uh, face masks. I use it too. <laughs> <laughs> and the next one, Omri. So the next one mm -hmm. is what we call American slicer type. Oh, it has thorns. Slightly thorny. Mm -hmm. uh, again. Dark green color, it goes for about, uh, I would say, 20, 23 centimeters. Mm -hmm. Yeah, again, this one has a very long shelf life. I think most, most of your audiences know this type because it's been on the market for many, many years. Mm -hmm. uh, again, we wanted to go for a slightly longer one, more shiny, mm -hmm. and uh, this has a very good shelf life, mm -hmm. even not in a uh, cooled condition. Mm -hmm. So I think this variety will be preferred by most of your audience and this is what they are used to. Mm -hmm. uh, in terms of benefits, all cucumbers have the same benefits in terms of mm -hmm. nutrition. Now take us through the third one. The bait alpha type. Mm -hmm. This is a very common cucumber in the Mediterranean. Oh, this one is quite small. It's quite small mm -hmm. and they love this cucumber for reason that it's very crunchy. It's, uh, the aroma is very strong and it's very sweet. Mm -hmm. So this would be the preferred. We call them also snack cucumbers oh. because you can actually eat them as a snack. The fourth one now? is called a baby cucumber, mm -hmm. which is the I alpha, <laughs> which is the alpha type, mm -hmm. but it's even smaller. It's 10 centimeters long. Oh, it's short and not as green as the other one, huh? It's yeah. not as green. Yeah. Yeah, and we call that a baby. It also goes into the same category as bait alpha types. Mm -hmm. It has a specific market, mm -hmm. mostly for restaurants and mm -hmm. uh, bars. And it's very cool, as cool as cucumber, they say. Now, let's see how the last one looks. The last mm -hmm. type I want to show you, mm -hmm. gherkins. Mm -hmm. Now, these ones come from what we call North Europe. So this is the most popular kind of cucumber in North Europe. Mm -hmm. um, this is specific for those clients. Mm -hmm. They eat it fresh and they pickle it also, preserve mm -hmm. it over winter. Mm -hmm. You know, in North Europe, they have a very long winter. Yeah. So they're able to preserve these cucumbers mm -hmm. in brine over yeah. winter. So among the five varieties, which one did you start with? We found a variety called green light, which is slightly longer and more green and shiny than what was grown up to now. 
and uh, we're very happy to say that it, it moves very well in the market. What's the germination process of cucumbers? How does it grow? Where do you start? Once we get the seedlings, we have the spacing that we need. We irrigate two days before to make the moist the soil and then we bring in the seedlings, we plant, we give one big irrigation, what we call in agriculture for field capacity, and then we leave the plants for about five days. Without putting any water? Any water. The reason is that we want the plant not to be pampered. So the plant will actually grow roots looking for the water. Omri many farmers normally say water is a key component. Uh, are these cucumbers heavy consumers of water? In terms of water consumption, it's, it's, a, it's a normal crop. And I always tell farmers, mm -hmm. if you don't secure your water, mm -hmm. don't plant anything. Yeah. Especially in what we talk, call greenhouse mm -hmm. uh, growing. Water is the key. Aside from water, what are other key factors that a farmer should really look out for when growing cucumbers? We're in a greenhouse and you feel the humidity here. You see I'm sweating. It's quite hot already. We're not even uh, past midday, but it's already hot. So one of the things that we want to emphasize to farmers is aeration. Aeration of the greenhouse is extremely important. Those are very good management practices. How are the market dynamics for cucumber? You sell it per kilo? We're getting, for the English cucumber, we're getting around 80, mm -hmm. sometimes higher, uh, depending on shortage. Mm -hmm. But I would say 80 bob would be the, the base. Mm -hmm. For the local, it, anywhere between 50 and 60. Omri have gone through your farm, it's quite an institution and perhaps do you let other farmers come and benchmark here because there's a lot to learn in your farm. This farm is open for everybody to come and see mm -hmm. and we organize groups and they are, you know, they're happy to ask any questions they want. Mm -hmm. And you know, it's, it's a learning process, yeah. we learn from them, they yeah. learn from us. If a farmer is really interested in venturing into cucumber farming, what is the capital? 1,200 mm -hmm. per square meter, yeah, mm -hmm. at least, mm -hmm. for the local greenhouse structure. And then uh, the seedlings, the labor and everything. And how are the returns on investment? When we do return on investment, cucumber comes up the highest mm -hmm. out of all the crops we are doing. Mm. Yeah, so we like the crop very much. How is the uptake for cucumber farming right now in the country? What we've seen is that there is a steady demand for local cucumber and the uh, English cucumber. Very steady, uh, meaning that we don't see hypes. Mm -hmm. And as long as you can maintain your quality, you can maintain that connection with the buyer, you're very safe. Omri Lake Ipia County, where you are right now, is quite humid. And your crops also are in a greenhouse, which is also quite humid. How do you manage the temperatures here? So, uh, first of all, we take uh, a lot of care to open the side mm -hmm. vents and mm -hmm. get a lot of ventilation. All side vents like those ones now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Another thing, during the very hot uh, days, mm -hmm. we, we tend to lime the roofs with uh -huh. lime. Mm -hmm. It's just lime mixed with water mm -hmm. and we paint the roofs. Mm -hmm. This gives us another extra 20-25% shade which helps the plant cope with the high temperatures. Mm -hmm. So these two things together help us maintain a reasonable temperature for the crop.
day. Yes. I see you are harvesting. Yes, yes. Today it's a harvesting day for us. Today so is a harvest yes, day. Yes, you came the right time. Wow. Yes, and uh, as you can see, we are harvesting a uh, bit alpha cucumber type. Mm -hmm. Maybe you can test it. I can test it straight from the farm. Yes, yes, okay. you can test it because uh, we maintain a PHI. Mm. We normally don't spray. Mm. So we only spray once we are done with harvesting. I needed this. It is very nice and very cool. Like yeah. they say, like a cucumber. Yes. So normally when you come here, what do you do? Normally, we, when we come here daily, we do the scouting. Mm -hmm. Then we have a group of team who basically they are always scouting the, all the greenhouses that we have. Mm -hmm. Then uh, after scouting, we have our team, the greenhouse attendants, who they are all are to ensure that they are allocated to specific greenhouse doing what they are required to. For example, pruning the fruit, harvesting, weeding, all the agronomic practices mm -hmm. that we carry out within mm -hmm. the greenhouses. Abdi, tell us, what is the favorable soil? For cucumber? Cucumber require a fine prepared loosened soil. Mm -hmm. When uh, let's say let's begin with the early preparation stages. You start with uh, breaking the hard ones and compacted soil. Mm -hmm. Once you prepare your soil you add some manure ensure that you maintain the soil structure. Normally cucumber takes around uh, one month after transplanting you can harvest after one month. For a farmer who is intending to venture into cucumber farming what are the requirements? From an excellent point of view, what I can say is this. You first, you ensure that uh, nutrient management are well, well maintained. Mm -hmm. Because without the nutrient management, you find that uh, you will have so many challenges. You may not be uh, able to obtain the maximum yield that you want. So you need to ensure that your nutrient management are done on time. Then the other thing is about the staking. Staking, what I mean is the trellising system. Mm -hmm. Like you see here, you find the polytwines. Mm -hmm. Reason being that uh, there are some advantages that come with the polytwine and uh, giving the crop the support is neat because when the crop touches the ground, you get the fruit. The, in terms of the quality, it goes down. Mm -hmm. So doing the trail leasing on time is the one aspect we normally look out for. Then the other thing is the pruning of the old leaves and the deceased ones. Mm -hmm. You normally take them out. Mm -hmm. Then the other thing is about the weeding. You know, we all know that the weeds are the vectors of the pest, uh, the diseases. Mm -hmm. So we ensure that uh, we ensure that we take out the necessary measure so that we obtain the what we need. What are the type of pests and diseases that cucumber farmers normally experience and how do you manage? First, we have a number of pests uh, when doing the cucumber farming. Mm -hmm. We have a white fly, which you normally you find them on the lower leaves of the, of the plant. Mm -hmm. And then uh, how you manage the white flies, uh, we have a IPM management system whereby we, we have the traps, as you can see, around mm -hmm. the yellow ones. Mm -hmm. Normally, we have that white flies are attracted to the yellow color. Mm -hmm. So when doing the yellow sticky traps within the greenhouses, mm -hmm. the white flies that you have will go to the yellow sticky traps and then you, do, you reduce the population. Mm -hmm. Then the other, other pest we have is the thrips, mm -hmm. thrips which is the major pest in cucumber. Mm -hmm. uh, we have uh, blue traps also. Mm -hmm. As you know, the, the thrips are attracted to blue color. And the other disease uh, we have encountered is powdery mildew. Mm -hmm which is the major disease when uh, doing the cucumber farming. Mm -hmm. So the powdery, we have a spray program the same way we have a spray program for the pest. I see there is an irrigation system that you have integrated here. Which one is favorable for cucumber farming and why? Here we are using a system of irrigation called a drip irrigation system. Mm -hmm. Basically, drip irrigation has a number of advantage because uh, when you are irrigating the the water will go directly to, to the area where you have planted, mm -hmm. so there's no water water wastage. This farm that you're managing is quite clean, and I, judging from what I see, it's quite productive. But tell us, what are the benefits or maybe the nutritional values of cucumbers? Cucumber has a number of benefits. It's, uh, for example, it has a high potassium and magnesium, which help in uh, regulating the blood pressure. And uh, I realize some people tend to use cucumber to aid in weight loss. Mm -hmm. So cucumber has a number of benefits. People need to know the importance of uh, cucumber. What are the challenges that a cucumber farmer can experience in a farm? Challenges are basically pests and diseases. Mm -hmm. And if you are able to manage pests and diseases, you are well and good to go. 
which type of fertilizer or manure do you use in this farm? It depends with the growth of the plant. Mm -hmm. Basically, when uh, at early stages, when the when you transplant, you need to have more phosphorus. Mm -hmm. the reason being, uh, the plant need. Uh, root establishment so phosphorus is the best fertilizer at that early stages mm -hmm. and then as the plant grow you need nitrogen mm -hmm. nitrogen uh, help in uh, vegetative stages mm -hmm. and then when the when you realize that uh, your fruit are developing you do the potassium mm -hmm. which helps in uh, fruit development Abdi I heard that this farm has a unique type of manure that you use here called sunhem Tell us about it. Sanem, uh, in other words, uh, we call it uh, crotararia. Mm -hmm. Crotararia is uh, nitrogen fixing, mm -hmm. green manure, mm -hmm. legumes, which uh, has a number of benefits to the soil and to the crop. Mm -hmm. For example, crotararia help in suppressing the weeds mm -hmm. and then parasitic nematodes. Mm -hmm. Not only that, it also a soil builder. Normally what the farmers don't realize is that they do the cropping continuously without allowing the land to rest. Mm -hmm. So by doing the crotararia, you're helping the soil. Mm -hmm. So crotararia is one way to go. Tell me, what are the spacing requirements for cucumber when you're growing cucumber? What is the spacing needed? We are using a double row system. So from one plant to another, we use a spacing of 45 cm. in a stem like this one, how many fruits can it produce? The number of fruit depends with, uh, I will give you in terms of uh, kg. Mm -hmm. Different variety have different uh, kg and also depending on methods of production. Mm -hmm. For example, in our greenhouse, this is just a basic greenhouse. Mm -hmm. So you expect roughly from 10 kg to 15 kg per plant. How is the market demand for this particular crop? Currently, cucumber market, the demand is growing because uh, as we know that uh, the supply is not always enough. Mm -hmm. And uh, for a farmer out there who wanting to venture into the, this kind of business, has to venture knowing that there's always be a market for the cucumber farming. By now I'm sure there's a farmer who's really curious in growing these cucumbers. But tell us, are cucumbers really favorable uh, for growth in greenhouses or open fields? Which one would you prefer? Uh, normally I would say greenhouse because greenhouse is a protected area compared to open field. Open field, uh, you find so many challenges. Mm -hmm. So any farmer willing to do the cucumber, I would recommend to do it in a greenhouse. Abdi, that has been quite insightful, but as you know, I can't leave this farm without knowing how to harvest cucumbers. Would you show me how to? Yeah, I wouldn't mind to show you. <laughs> Let's begin here. <laughs> if you look at it closely, this one is ready for picking. Oh. Normally what we need uh, during harvesting is just your hand. Mm -hmm. You don't need any sakatua to harvest cucumber. Mm -hmm. You just pick it from the stem oh. with the stalk. Come, I show you other variety we have here. Mm -hmm. Come closer. If you look at this, mm -hmm. these are the mini cucumbers, oh. the ones which are very short. Mm -hmm. Yes, if you can see the, the these ones. The ones that are short and not so green. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. You can pick this one. Oh, this one is ready. Yes, this one is ready. Also this one. Mm -hmm. So we pick them with the stock and then uh, you pack them in the crate. We put it in the crate and then now we proceed to the grading bowl. Oh, we go to the grading as we continue to harvest. Yes, let's go. Okay. Although cucumbers are incredibly healthy, they can be tricky to incorporate into your diet in fun and unique ways. It's time to get creative in the kitchen with four different ways to prepare and serve fresh cucumbers for your family and friends. Start with a salad. If you want to give your salad some flair, try spiraling your cucumbers instead of just slicing them. You'll find it tastier just by looking at its presentation, especially when blended with cherry tomatoes. Try making a smoothie out of cucumbers. If you're craving something cool and refreshing, it will start your day off right and give you the fuel you need to succeed. Just throw your cucumbers into a blender, skin and all, and get to work. Making your own cucumber face mask also doesn't take much time. It's pretty easy. It has anti-inflammatory properties that simply nourishes your skin. 
we saved the best and the easiest for last. Eating raw cucumbers is by far the most nutritious way to enjoy this refreshing superfood. Eat them as an on-the-go snack. It's hard to find a more refreshing superfood than a cucumber. So did you know that eating a long English cucumber is almost as hydrating as drinking your recommended 8 glasses of water per day? This is because cucumbers are made up of 90% water that will help you keep energized and refreshed all day long. Abdi, yes. Rumuruti weather is so unpredictable. Yes, yes, it's so unpredictable. Sometimes it rains, sometimes it's very hot, so mm -hmm. it's unpredictable. Just actually. when we are done with shooting, Yes, and uh, this is the produce that I'll be giving you so that you can take it home, eat with your family. I take all these home? Yeah, all of it. All the five varieties? All of it. I'm a lucky woman today. Yeah, well Thank done. you so much. Well I really done. appreciate and you're doing a good job. Thank you, too. Wow. Guys, that has been Cucumber Farming. I hope you've learned something from today's episode of Cucumber Farming all the way to Laikipia. You can make your way here if you're interested in venturing into this type of business. Until next time, my name is Linda Koskei.